Hey everyone, welcome back to Whiskey Quest. Uh, my name is Antonio Perez, and today we're drinking Larceny, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, very special small batch. Now this is uh, weeded bourbon, which is uh, pretty much it's just replaced rye with wheat, and um, you know it's still bourbon, so it's you know at least fifty one percent corn. Uh, it's 92 proof, so 46% ABV. It's a little bit on the high proof, which is pretty, pretty good, you know, because uh, you know it. Uh, even, even though it's a weeded bourbon, it's supposed to be a smoother uh, whiskey. Um, the high proof, you know, delivers a little bit of that uh, kick, but it's uh, it's not a, it's not a, it's not very uh, intense. So, you know, this is something that you can uh, sit back and enjoy neat if you. Uh, uh, want to do that you know but um um yeah i mean i mean I, I wouldn't put too much uh water or ice in this you know or but um i've been drinking this neat just because i uh, you know i want to really enjoy the flavors that it uh offers and uh they're pretty pretty different uh flavors from uh you know from the other bourbons um you know you still get the uh, vanillas and the caramel but on this one you get a you get a delightful uh, banana bread kind of note there and uh, you know again there's the maple and then there's the oak um, and then on the palate you get a little bit of a uh, light spice um, so even though it doesn't have rye you know it's still still a little bit of uh, the spice there maybe because of the high proof You get the oak and the caramel, so it's a uh, you know a little bit of everything. It's pretty well rounded there, I think. You know, not one uh, sticks out too much than the other. And um, just add a little bit of water there to uh, open it up. Um, I've uh, been drinking this. I've been adding two drops of water, and uh, that seems to do the trick it does it does open it up a little bit more um, but you know I'll let it sit there for a little bit uh, the story behind this you know how they tell you on their website and even the back of the bottle it tells you uh, how they got their um, or decided to name this bottle and it's all because of a man called John E. Fitzgerald um, which was a treasury uh, person back in the day that uh, um, was in charge of the uh, rig houses for the uh, bottled and bond uh, bourbons and what he would do was uh, he would steal the best barrels that he could find and sell it under his own name so you know this guy made a name for himself as a distiller but it turns out he was just a thief so I don't know why they wanted to like honor him or, or what was the purpose for this but it's a uh, pretty Pretty cool bottle, you know, pretty cool name too. Again, let me show you the bottle there. A little key there, a key on top, and uh, I, just, I like it, you know. I like reading their stories behind uh, this stuff. Um, it's uh, $25. Uh, I haven't seen it for more than that. I got actually got this one on sale for $18.99, so I didn't, I didn't pass it up. Uh, I did want to get a weeded bourbon, and um, the other one out there that I know of uh, was Maker's Mark, but I've, you know, I've tasted that before a long time ago, but um, I wanted to try something something a little different. Um, it doesn't have an age statement, but online it says that they, uh, it's about six years old, so um, again, it's a, it's a straight bourbon, so with no age statement, so that means it has to be at least four years old otherwise they would have to label it on there and so it's a small batch and they use uh, 200 or less barrels to make this stuff and um, you know it's a uh, it's pretty good pretty good stuff let's see with the water with the water you still get the banana bread but then I find that the maple kind of 
doesn't really disappear, but it's more like uh, like vanilla kind of replaces it uh, right there, and then there's a little bit of honey too. So it, it, it gets a little bit sweeter on the nose, and then on the palate, on the palate you still get the spice, but it's a little bit more toned down. Um, and then there's the vanilla and the caramel. And then in the back, there's this lemon sour note. I don't know. I think it, uh, it helps it out a little bit, in my opinion here. The uh, finish is pretty short. But um, I don't know. I like this. I like this very much. Uh, I'm sure you can throw this in a mixer and uh, it'll stand out because of the uh, high proof there. Uh, definitely give it a shot if you haven't tried it and, um, you know, something to add to your collection. A little bit of everything, a little variety there. So, having said that, cheers. See you in the next video.